breaking economic data. Rick, the numbers. Yes, well, let's start out initial jobless claims. 230,000, it's less than expected, less than the 245,000 in the rearview mirror. 230,000 is the lightest since the last week in March, but it has been elevated since the benchmark revisions of several weeks ago. Continuing claims, 1,858,000, a smidge less than expected, a smidge less than the rearview mirror, which is 1,865,000, which now gets changed to 1,861,000. And that number and the current number are basically both in a zone that we haven't seen since November of 2021. GDP, first look at first quarter, 1.1, a miss. We're expecting a number closer to 2%. 1.1 is sequentially that follows 2.6. 1.1 is the lightest since it was negative in the second quarter of 22. If you look at the uh, consumption number, 3.7, that's a whopper of a number no matter how you slice it. 3.7 is the best going back to uh, the second quarter of 21 when it was 12.1. And if we look at the GDP price index, 4%, 4%. Here is the rub uh, the fly in the ointment. We're expecting 3.7. In the rearview mirror, it was 3.9. In this series, it is bumpy because uh, we want to continually move lower. This moves out of that sequence. And remember, the high water mark was the second quarter of 22 at 9%. That was the highest since 81. So granted, when you look at 4% versus 9%, it's less than half, but sequentially, it breaks the pattern of lower. Uh, personal consumption expenditure quarter over quarter, 4.9, similar, 4.4 in the rearview mirror, expecting 4.7. 4.9 is actually the highest, going back to the high, which was 5.6, excuse me, 5.6 was the first quarter of 22. It moved out of sequence because the high was 6% a year before that in second quarter of 21. So we see that the pattern of inflation moving down every month was broken already in the PCE Q over Q. It's now broken in the price index, even though both are significantly lower than their extremes. What has interest rates done? They've moved higher. They have moved higher. And to me, that is these last two numbers. You see pre-opening equities, uh, they've had some volatility in the Dow futures, but they're basically about the same place as they were before the numbers were released. And, of course, we want to continue to monitor all that measures these pricing issues because most believe the peak of interest rates, the peak of inflation is in the rearview mirror. The issue is, is how long it takes to float back down to a range that the central bank is comfortable with in the near term, while higher for longer does its damage in the near term as well.